All right, home sweet home is ready, I think, for these guys that I'm pumping up with some yum's good misting of seaweed still today. It's a good day, it's not a windy day. I can put seaweed on without having to worry that they'll dry out too much. These are my Dendrobium aphyllum cakeys. And if you haven't seen the video where all this started, just by showing you what I do to get them to look like this and get them ready and healthy to be able to go to their new home, which we've just built. Yes, we are like a habitat here. So, what do you think? Huh? I didn't make it the full length of the gate, excuse the obtrusive van der Roots. I didn't make it the full length of the gate because I wanted to have some liberty of opening and closing. But we are ready, I think. So whenever a keiki is, let's say, mature enough to be able to be harvested and put on this mount, then that's what we are going to do. And quite honestly, I'm pretty proud of myself. The only measurement I did was the rod. And then I eyeballed the holes. I eyeballed everything. <laughs> everything was eyeballed and it turned out pretty good. It's as if I'd measured the whole thing. I'm proud of myself. I'm happy that their little home is ready now. So whenever the, one of them is ready, go down slowly. If, for example, one is ready to go, then it can be harvested and it can go up onto the mount. If, for example, one is not ready to go, like here, it's far too small. I hope it focuses. Now I have a little bit of a breeze there. That one's far too small and definitely won't be ready when the other one is. Well, we can stagger it. And that will be the next clip. It's time for some keikis to be harvested. And I did a keiki video last year, but uh, what I'm going to do is show you the two ways I'm gonna harvest these keikis. There's two different ways you can do it. I'm gonna do both of them because both of them could apply and make my life a little bit easier. And it's gonna be fiddly, but let's get to it. Not all of them are ready to go, but as the winds get hotter, hotter and more aggressive, I'm concerned about the roots here. I would like to make sure that I maintain them. We'll be harvesting this one and we'll be harvesting this one in the video. And then I'm going to try and get them on the mount. So you see here, let me get in a little bit closer. You see here, I'm not so happy with the amount of roots I have on this little keiki, but she is so big that it's coming off and I'm going to hopefully be able to maintain her on the new mount. So one way to harvest a keiki is to be brave and twist them off. Literally taking the cane that it is on and then going in opposing directions. So holding the cane in one way and then twisting the keiki in the opposite direction and twisting it off like that. It leaves a teeny tiny little wound on the major cane, but that's gonna dry off by itself. And then you have a keiki. And I broke a root in the back here. That is collateral damage. That can happen. But we're gonna get that into some water straight away. It has now become effectively a seedling and the care will be a little bit more demanding than before. All right, let's get another one. This one is looking lovely jubbly. Lots and lots of nice roots here. I like it. Some are already starting to dry, as you can see. That's not a good thing, but what I'm going to do here, I'm going to maintain quite a bit of that mother cane from the mother plant. That's gonna help me tack it to the mount much, much easier. So there's that. Let's get that into some water. Ideally placing it in such a way that the root tips are not bashed. That's the best thing to do, just not bash the root tips. What's gonna come up next is gonna be detrimental as it is. We can only do our best in making sure these keikis and the roots are safe. So for the time being, as far as I can control it, root tips not facing downwards. But we have to seal the wound of the cane that we just cut this one off from. 
which is going to be simple and straightforward, a dunk into cinnamon. And that's going to desiccate it, dry it out, and everything's going to be fine at that end. I have more that I can harvest, and I especially like the look of these two. They're on the same cane. I can cut them both off at the same time. I'm just not sure if I'm ready to do that yet because the roots in the back here are not as predominant as the one in the front. But leaving some of the cane on will also give it some more energy while they still develop, even though they've been severed from the mother plant. I'm gonna be generous about this and cut it a little bit further up. It's gonna make my mounting a lot, a lot easier. And this little Tupperware seems to be big enough, but it's looking a little crowded already, so I'm going to back off and just work with the ones that we have been dealing with right now and not mess around and get ahead of myself. So I have more that I can take off, but I'm going to work with the ones we have right now, get them on the mount, and then I'll show you the end result. My next plan of action is to use this grid to secure the keikis on one by one to make it easier and not damage the roots, to focus on one keiki only, then to put a little layer of hob material over the new roots and use the grid to tack it onto the main mount. That's the plan. It's relatively fiddly, but we've come this far. There's no turning back now. So that was relatively fiddly simply because of the nature of the beast. That keiki had nothing except its own stem for me to work with. This I'm expecting to be much, much easier because I'm gonna be using the remnants of the cane that I've left on as my support where I can sew things on without jiggling the roots too much. Right, let's give this a go. Kind of an awkward angle, so I'm gonna try it this way and if it looks really bad, we'll tack on another one. That should then maybe present a better angle, but all I want to do now is just get these little singular mounts onto the main mount in such a way that they're secure 
obviously, and without too much jiggling of the roots. Everything here is a little bit precarious, a little bit delicate, but on the other hand, why not put it on film and let's see how things go. It can't hurt to at least try and film this, even though the angle is a little bit awkward, and then I'll just do the others and we'll look at it when it's done. <laughs> and there they are, all tacked up nicely, <laughs> as best as possible. Considering their wonky shape, they will straighten themselves out. It looks a little bit odd right now, and it will look odd for maybe about two or three years. But I did tack one a little bit higher than the other. And now we're going to have to wait and see what happens. Let me step back a bit. That's where they are. And I have started from right to left because as I mentioned earlier, they are now seedlings. They are not going to be able to take the light coming in from the left side here once the angle of the sun drops. They are much more protected on this side. And then when I have to harvest the other ones that are still on the mother plant, I will tack them up on this side to make sure that I can protect them as seedlings before the angle of the sun drops because by the time the sun can reach this side of the patio, it will be about September, maybe mid-October, and we've got full light coming through, and I don't want to toast what is coming up here. The morning sun won't be as harsh, so that's okay if the angle of the sun hits them in the morning. That is fine. At the moment, everything is going to be okay. It's not that time of year yet, and that is why I've started from right to left. It looks really silly now, but thinking ahead, this is what I want to see in maybe four or five years time. I have a few more keikis to baby on the mother plant and then I will be pinning them on the mount as and when they mature. So I hope that you enjoyed this video and I look forward to seeing your reaction to this. Um, yeah, we got to think positively. <laughs> have yourselves a wonderful day. I really appreciate your time. Hope to see you again soon in the next video. Take care and stay safe. Bye.